A design doc is a simple little tool that helps you keep focused during game development. I needed to write a new one a couple of days ago, so here's how I do it. So I'm going to enter into the procedural worlds, nature's beauty game jam. And the first thing that I do whenever I create a new project is I create a game design document and I've written a little tool to help with this. It's a very, very early development stage, but it works. Um, so nature's beauty. design doc and what the purpose of this is, is just keep us focused on what it is we're actually trying to achieve um, so it's a document to refer back to go should I do this does it fit the design etc the editor is pretty rough right now it's actually a bug in 2021 at the moment where string arrays don't appear correctly so that's why we've got these kind of fixed lists but they will be string arrays eventually all right so the elevator pitch is the thing that really captures the whole game so let's just go ahead and write it for this one it's going to be explore the wondrous beauty of nature not BT beauty in a serene walking simulator punctuated with an exploration of the dark mind of human kind all right so um that's the elevator pitch that's supposed to get you interested but it doesn't actually tell you what you're going to do so we now need a game identity and that's it it's a single sentence that's going to describe the identity of the game if we think about doing something we ask ourselves a question will this add to the identity of the game and if the answer is yes then we could go ahead and do it if the answer is no we're not going to do it so the game identity here is a realistic walking simulator with beautiful scenery. However, to play, the player must take on the persona of the evil despot, taking rather than giving to the environment. I don't know if despot's the right word, but we'll see. So here, what we've done is we've said, if what we're gonna do is gonna make the place look beautiful, we're gonna do it. But we're also gonna create environments in which the player is going to have to do things that are evil, otherwise they won't proceed. So we're gonna be allowed to do dark and evil things, but only in the interest of progressing exploration of the broader environment. All right, so what does the game loop mean? The game loop is the thing that the player is going to do over and over again. It's the thing that they keep repeating and they keep coming back for. This is the key to a successful game, getting a good game loop. So let's have a think about what that game loop might be. Enter a beautiful scene and explore through walking. Look for creatures and peoples who can be captured using a magic camera and transported back to the player's gladiatorial stadium where they will fight to the death. The player is in on an endless search for a new champion okay so there we have it that's what the game loop is going to be um, and so now we go into our design pillars and we're going to list just three words or phrases that capture the feeling that the player has when they're playing so we're going to want or at the beauty of the environment so at the beauty of the environment uh, the thrill of discovering a potential new champion and the despair of losing a champion from both the stable and the world 
Okay, so we, we have the awe of the walking simulator. We want plenty of wow moments of what's going to be happening. And then we're going to find an animal or a creature or a person. And we're going to, oh, maybe that can fight in the arena. So we're going to capture it. And then when we take them back to the arena, we're going to have the despair of one of those characters being lost to the world forever. All right, next up, features. So features are the unique elements that need to be included in the game. Um, so we're going to need to have uh, points of interest for the player to explore. We're going to have a variety of creatures and peoples to act as champions. Varied AI. Uh, now this is only a game jam, so there's not going to be too many features in here. Um, so we probably want to have some kind of um, auto scanning facility to prevent the player wandering aimlessly. Um, we're going to have a camera for taking and sharing shots of beauty. We're going to have a camera, the same camera, for taking creatures away from the world. All right, magic moments. So magic moments are going to be uh, obviously when we when we win, a new champion is found, wins a fight against the old champion. Uh, discovery of a potential champion in the wild. Discovery of a new point of interest to share socially. All right, art style. So art style, we're going to go for realistic. I have, happen to have plenty of assets that are realistic, so... Um, art style realistic fantasy and contrasting gradatorial versus nature okay uh, make that gradatorial arena versus nature all right music and sound um we're gonna have chill relaxing music in the walking simulator and then cinematic in the arena interface and controls we're just going to go with keyboard maybe maybe can have a controller we'll see whether we have time and the platform is most definitely pc you're not going to have the time to do optimization so there's our design document and we'll keep referring back to this every time we need to make a decision about whether we should or shouldn't do something in game it'll keep us focused it'll keep us targeted on what we're trying to achieve so there we have it next up we'll start working on the game itself